So to summarize, uh, we found the dry clean solvent in soil in two areas. Uh, we see some easterly migration of this solvent in soil vapor and groundwater, but it's very limited uh, to the north, west, and south, and, and that's a, at least some good news on, on the investigation since most of the residences are, are north, west, or east of the south of the site. Uh, the next steps we have planned are to conduct an off-site groundwater investigation. You'll see us drilling on the east side of Highway 101, uh, probably within the next month. Uh, we're going to do more sampling in that eastern hotspot area to test how a... Uh, I, have, I seem to have lost a slide here. Oh, there it is. This thing goes to defense sometimes. Sorry, uh, let me back up. Um, we have taken some started some cleanup actions here and completed some things. We had an intrusion problem with this vapor getting up into the, the liquor store. Uh, we've addressed that by sealing the floor to seal the cracks and also putting ventilation fans that blow clean air into the, into the building. Uh, we've done treatment of the soil in the two areas with uh, an oxidizer injection, which is the Clorox is an oxidizer. Uh, we use an industrial strength oxidizer that we inject into the ground that breaks down the dry cleaning solvent. And then uh, we followed that with a bioremediation injection treatment in 2011. Uh, that's where you add uh, a, it's a thick, viscous liquid that is food for the bacteria that are naturally present in the soil that can break down the dry cleaning solvent. So if we give them more food, uh, grow up the population, they break down that solvent, and uh, we've been seeing some decreases in the concentrations in, in the soil vapor and groundwater. And we're going to go back out uh, later this year and test the soil to see how effective that treatment has been. And then we'll continue to monitor. So, what is the time that we, uh, with this uh, uh, current treatment, how long will it take to, to, to get to the lower level? Uh, with, the, with the bio treatment program we have in place, that's typically a three to five year process. And when we started this, the commercial property market was in a slump and it didn't look like the property was gonna go anywhere for a long time. So that's a lower cost thing to do. Uh, now that there's a prospective buyer on the scene, uh, we're looking at speeding up the process and that's where uh, we'll do some more sampling uh, later this year and look at, do we need to uh, dig out the soil, we need to treat it more, whatever to speed it up. But, but that's the plan is to get it going faster. And how's my time? Let me, uh, I'll keep going. Okay. Question? I have a quick question on it. Would the uh, parking with the ozone do anything to benefit or speed up the process? Uh, that's an option. Can you limit to what the chemicals is that you've got in the ground? Yeah. Ozone works on dry clay solvent. That's an option. Uh, there are a number of options. It, it's, it's, uh, it's first a question of seeing what we have left to treat because the biotreatment uh, we expect has been fairly effective on the soil and we'll have to determine what needs to be treated and then look at different options for doing that. Uh, sometimes just digging it out is the fastest way to do it because ozone treatment takes time to time is money. So going back to the field uh, that you've chosen there, uh, how deep does it go? And I'm just trying to get a sense of the three dimensions of, of the plume. Uh, um, I don't have a graphic for that. Okay. Uh, but in 2008, we did an investigation with uh, a piece of equipment called a membrane interface probe. And you push it down into the ground, and it has uh, a port at the tip that, that sucks a little bit of air up out of the ground and into an instrument on, on the surface. And we can see this uh, dry clean solid. Uh, we push that down in, I believe, 10 locations to up to 50 foot depth. And we came out of it at about 35 feet. So uh, it's not to say this chemical can't go deeper under certain conditions, but at least uh, in the area that we looked behind the dry cleaner, which is the direction of groundwater flow, it didn't seem to be going below 35 feet. What's the depth the first encounter groundwater? Uh, typically 20 feet. Uh, drilling is, it's generally a fine grain material. 
at the surface and then you, you transition, transition into some silty sands and that's where the water bearing zone is. In the winter, the water table does come up to within five feet of the ground surface. Uh, so it, 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 it's pretty variable. Does it fall below the wa ground water uh, level? Uh, does the solvent fall below the? Yeah, is there a, is there like a natural barrier, or does the solvent just keeps going till it hits an impermeable imper surface? Uh, well, the the barrier here would be uh, bedrock, uh, but it, it it's more a matter of how much solvent you have and the, and what the groundwater gradients are in the area, and uh, uh, if you have a downward gradient and a whole bunch of this product, yes, it can go deeper. Uh, it doesn't seem like we have that much of a release here to drive a downward, extensive downward movement. There are plenty of sites where that has been a problem because either a lot was dumped in the ground or there's some local condition that, that encourages downward movement. I haven't heard yeah. from you. I don't you speak. I was, I heard earlier that the depth of the contaminants could be down as far as 35 feet so it Let's say there is a redevelopment project of some sort. They're going to go down 35, 40 feet until bedrock to do the excavation of the hot spots. Typically, the the impacted soil extends only to 10 or 12 feet. That would be the limit of our, our excavation. Okay. The groundwater is below that, and uh, we don't usually dig groundwater. We might treat it or pump it or do something like that, but so we don't dig it up. Excavated and Put it down and put it in the back of the truck. The truck sealed when they do the off haul, or you know. Uh, it's covered. Uh, as as far as as being sealed, uh, no. But but the amount of the PC and the vapor is so small, uh, it, it's it's not going to get around. But that's what the monitoring is for. Okay. 